All right, Shalom, I'm Mike Young. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rekak I want to give double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone and Shalom to the elite of seasons right now, too famous to say. And yeah, man, today I just want to title this lesson, The Lord Set You Devils Up to Show His Power. Because um, that's, that's really, you know, what it is, man. Cause this is you gotta understand this is the um this thing you call life. Hey, this is this is the most highest movie, man. This is your how about you know, movie. This you know, and, and and we can't do nothing about it, man. We can't do nothing what's gonna happen from five minutes or now. You know, but guess what? Everything is um is um predestined, you know, everything already has is um is in its lot, you know. And the only thing was left to do is to let it play out, man. And the the, the, the so called white man being in power right now, hey, that just that's, that lets you know we're at the climax of the movie, man. Because um, after once the so called white man goes down, the kingdom of heaven is going to be established forever, man. And this is our last captivity, you know, and 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 and, and it's so beautiful that. This devil, the so-called white man, truly believes that uh that this kingdom right here is gonna be here forever, man. Matter of fact, before I go into this the priest the Romans I had lined up, let me just get this real quick. Cause you devils, man, you truly believe that this place is gonna go on forever, man. This is uh, Psalms 49 and 11 it says that in without is that their houses shall continue forever. And their dwelling places to all generations, they call their lands after their own names. And that's what, hey, that's what you devils do, man. And, and, and matter of fact, going back to that, because that's proud as hell, man. That's proud as hell, man. This is uh, Obadiah 1 and 3. It says, The pride of thy heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, the self in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground. Hey, the see? You you devils you 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 really believe man that um you that you was the most high that uh, or, or or some you know some devil believe that the most high is dealing with you well you gotta understand yeah the Lord dealing with you on the left hand side you know to 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 uh number one to to punish Israel and number and and, and, and you know and to to show his power man you know. See, uh, one more precept before I get that, that, that Romans. This is John, I believe it's John chapter 12 and verse 28. <clears throat> it says, Father, glorify thy name. Then came a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. And how the Lord did that, man, by how he did what he did to Egypt. You know, and, and what's the and what's the coincidence that America now is called spiritual Sodom in Egypt? Yeah, I mean, or oh, uh, hey, Sodom, because the Lord he put a step on Sodom too, man. People still remember what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Hey, we still see Lot's wife to this day, man. You know, so the Lord wants he wants you know he 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 glorified his name, and and, and people forgot about it. You know, people didn't they 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 lost the fear. They don't have no fear. But guess what? The Lord's going to glorify it again. Then, then I know the scripture said, Then shall they know that I'm the Lord, man. You know. But yeah, this is uh, this is Romans chapter 9. And uh, matter of fact, just you know, just to do the build up because uh to let you know that the Lord is is, is is this is his movie, man. And you can't change the script you can't do nothing about it. You know? Let's see, um I just started at verse eleven. This is Romans nine and eleven. It says, For the children being not yet born, neither neither having yet done any good or evil 
that the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand, not of works, but of him that called him. So, hey, this is of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. He chose who he wanted to choose, which he chose Jacob, man, over Esau, man. It said, it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. And, hey, that, and, 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 and that, that's what, um, when it says Rebecca came, she uh, inquired of the Lord. She went to a prophet, man. And the prophet told her, um, prophet told her that, man, the elder shall serve the younger. So, hey, this was, um, according to Yahweh by me, I was shy. This was the Lord, uh, you know, um, told, told uh, the prophet to deliver that message, man. It said, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So, you think... Just, yeah, you know I mean, the Lord just gonna renege on that. It's in the New Testament, man. And that's in Malachi. And Jacob have I love, and Esau have I hated. So if the Old Testament is done away with, yeah, you know I mean, why is they quoting Malachi, especially the first chapter? If the Lord came to save everybody, yeah, you know I mean. So this is um verse 14. It says, What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the most high? It said the most high forbid. So yeah, because the Lord, this is his moving, man. He can do whatever he wants. He see he outside the realm, man. Of this place, man. He he you know. Whatever he says goes. Cause a matter of fact, I'm continuing on, it says, for he said to Moses. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So if the Lord don't, if he, he don't want to deal with you, Edomites, you devils, he ain't got to do it, man. You know? So he, he picks and chooses who he want to have mercy and compassion on. So you you people are going on by saying the Lord loves everybody. It specifically tells you that. He have mercy on whom he will have mercy on. He didn't say everybody. He said Israel. You know. Verse 16 says, So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that show of mercy. It says, For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee. That my name might be declared throughout all the earth. See, and that's what the Lord did, man. Matter of fact, let's see if I can find that. I think it's Joshua 9. Nah. Con, this is on, this is on Joshua chapter 9, verse 9. And, and they said unto him, From a very far country, thy servants are come because of the name of the Lord, thy power. For we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. See? He, he, he did this so he can he 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 gave him the big head because Egypt then you know Egypt was uh matter of fact I think he it goes into it matter of fact I'm gonna just let the scripture come out let's see this Romans chapter nine and uh in verse um eight uh yeah eighteen said therefore he have mercy. It's like, therefore, have he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will harden. See, and who he will harden because he 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 uh hardened Pharaoh's heart, man. Just just making that judgment just build up, man. Because the Lord, he, he's he's a just power, man. He's going to give you a reward according to your works, you know. And, and the thing is about America, or, or, uh, matter of fact, let me get that in. This is Revelations 18, 5. This is, uh, it says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High remembered her iniquities. See, so the Lord, he, he um, how, how the Lord had hardened Pharaoh's heart. And, and it, you know, every time it was getting worse and worse and worse, man. But that's how they were so called white man. The thing is about this one, the plays, the plays are coming. The plays are the plays are here, man. But the so-called white man is he 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 he's proud, man. Like I said, the pride is hard to have to see because he truly believed that he can 
just overcome everything, man. He's in that uh, that mad, mad spirit, you know. And, and but the thing is, the Lord's gonna give him a reality check, man. And this this is um, Revelation twenty two and eleven. I mean twelve. It says, "And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be." So the Lord is gonna give this place America, you know, uh, um, his reward, man. So called white man, their reward, man, according to their works. And, 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 and what they've been doing, their sins have reached unto heaven, man. You know, they have done every possible thing wickedly that you can think of. We really, you know, in Israel, we, we don't, you know, don't, you know, don't have the mind of an Edomite. So the things that comes out is, is, is kind of shocking to us, man. So the Lord, you know, he he got all right to destroy this place, man, and 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 he doing it, you know, and he and, and he and he set the so-called white man up to be a great kingdom. So when you throw it down, you will know it's your house by some outside, man. That's why it tells you in the Deuteronomy, the twenty-eighth chapter, no man shall redeem, because uh, when the Lord come and redeem us, man, he's gonna he's gonna really put that stamp on that, you know what I mean, and you know. People kind of overlook Egypt, you know, with him in Egypt and everything. But, hey, this place, America, man. Matter of fact, Salaki, I get, man, I got one more precept since I said that this place, America, man, is like people truly, truly don't believe that this place is going to go down, man. And when the Lord, he when he comes back, you're going to know is your how about some y'all outside, man. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Oh yeah, this um this Revelation eighteen and eighteen said and and they and cried, they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, "What city is like unto this great city?" And yeah, man, when you people, you know, back then when Egypt, Egypt, that's a bad, yeah, you know I mean, kingdom. But that's how it is then, you know, with America, man. What city is like unto this great city? So when this place goes down, man, you gonna know as you how about from your outside, man. Let's see this Romans nine ten on and and uh verse eighteen I mean verse nineteen it says thou will say unto me why doth he yet find fault for who have resisted his will see because hey it, the Lord don't it, it, the Lord sanctions a, a a leap from falling from the tree man. Hey, we, we, you know, us breathing in and out, man. You know, just even the simple things, like eye movement, just everything is 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 the is the will of your whole body from your side, man. You know, and that's the thing that you gotta understand. Is it, who have resisted his will? You can't, man. You can't resist the will, man. You know, it tells you in a paragraph that um we have borrowed our souls, man. So you know. This is this is the most high's movie, man. You know, it says, um, nay, but oh man, who art thou that reply that replies against the most high? Shall the thing form itself him that formed it? Why hast thou made me thus? Have not the part of have not the part of power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? And that's the point in that that um he, he going back to verse 11 man you know according to the election my stand ain't done good or evil man but one, you know he told one to be righteous he told one to be wicked man you know and he said the potter have um, power over the clay man so let me let you know man how about some outside has full control man you know, it says, what if, what if the Most High willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction? That's talking about the so-called white man, man. You are vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, man. You know, because uh, it's, it's, uh, the Lord had made three types of people, man. Sons of God, sons of men, the sign of perdition, man. So you doubles, that's what you're made for, man. 
to be destroyed, man. Uh, see, um, verse 23, it says, and, and that he make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. And that's talking about the elect, man. Because uh, the vessels of mercy get the, you get that mercy on you know escaping that second death, man. You know, but yeah, I can man. I just hope it'll edify to the next time. I'm say shalom.